Radio. On College Radio, this is Urban Sweet, D Major, Cheryl Metal, Mr. Composition in studio with us. Before I delve into uh, the world of YouTube that you are definitely working through right now, I want to ask a little bit about the uh, Texas CBD market that you had uh, popping up. So, how did it begin and where does it stand now? So, um, where did it begin? So, it was interesting because we had just had the law change and it was uh, interesting in 2019 when they passed as far as the hemp bill. Um, I actually didn't know when I could, when I thought of the idea. I originally was just all like, man, it would be cool to just go to a place where there was a bunch of different CBD products and originally, I just wanted that place for me. Like, I just wanted an area, and I was yeah. like, you know what? Like, I can create that experience. And, you know, I teamed up with uh, Stephen Lucky with Gardopia Gardens, which shout out to them. Out to they Steve. are doing so much awesome stuff. Yes. And uh, basically, I hit up a bunch of people. I found that there were so many um, CBD vendors and companies that was popping up that didn't really have a spot that was another thing was i would hear from vendors because i would throw these events prior the composition and i would include vendors and i would hear from some of the cbd vendors that because it was brand new as far as the the laws being passed a lot of places even though they would be accepted as a vendor they would either be kicked out or they wouldn't be able to vend because of having CBD. And I was just like, well, that's not going to be an issue if the whole event revolves around right. <laughs> CBD. Right. And so, you know, that was my way of for them being able to have some place where they was okay for them to be there. And then having it in the garden was just a cool concept because, of course, that's where the plant comes from, the ground. So it's just uh, like seeing what things like garden the gardens are able to do and then having Gardopia in as far as that neighborhood in the east side I was just all like here's just giving this information because for me CBD was one of those things that when we see artists who you know unfortunately pass because of drug related things or you know um multiple depression type of things and they're either on pills or hard drugs or different things like that for them to have cbd and that be able to alleviate and them being able to have that plant to try i was just all like let me go ahead and push that especially for the artist standpoint of things because we've lost way too many people because of that you know and so that's how the concept itself came about and then once I saw the reaction and response to it, as far as doing it at the brick, the news hit me up and it was just like, yo, let's, you know, do a show, you know, do a segment on that. And I was all like, super cool. Where it's at right now is where the, the laws keep on changing. And so what I'm trying to do is stay ahead of that information. So that way the next event that I do create uh, or throw have all the information in line so it still exists but uh, right now we're in like a <laughs> research and development mode it's like we got a lot of information as far as throwing the events and finding out you know what type of things we can do we're steve you know saw people making similar events and different things like that so i was like cool let me go ahead take a step back get the information that I need so that way I protect myself, but also the vendors as well, because they may not have the information. We don't want someone to come through. They don't have the correct paperwork or different things like that. So um, that's where we're at currently. I was about to ask, do you feel like uh, the constant changing of uh, laws and policies on this kind of make you feel like the uh, they're trying to catch people slipping so they can maybe generate more money for the you, you know what's yes. so interesting? I, <laughs> yes. I, I do, but what's so, it seems so backwards because it's just all like when you hear about the other places that fully have legalized that you think about if this was a money play, you know, you would think that they would be on board because of the money that would be made. But mm -hmm. I think the issue isn't the fact of the money that 
uh, is made is for the money that they're able to have for themselves type of thing. So because of the fact that there will be so many people who legit are able to make a sustainable income off of this, even if they had some regulation over it, it wouldn't be nearly as much as if they just had a whole control over it. Yeah. We will we won't speak on that off <laughs> air. But let's go ahead and get into um your delving into YouTube. What what began that uh, process for you? So YouTube it's interesting because I've always have ha 